What are you at, ladies and gentlemen, Light Goals here, and today I want to talk about essential tips and tricks that you can use to get a head start in Days Gone. Now, the first thing that I want to talk about is skills. Now, there are useful skills in all three of the skill trees, but I want to talk about the ones that I think that you should get first and the ones that are going to be most useful to you early on in the game. The first skill tree that I think you should invest in is definitely the ranged skill tree, and I think you should go with Fight and Flight, Focus Shot, Suppressing Fire, Cryo Control, and then eventually Knocked Up. Ranged fighting is very important in this game, but unfortunately the aiming system in this game is kind of clunky, so the focus shot is absolutely essential in my opinion. It allows you to slow down time when you're in a gunfight and pick your headshots very, very easily. Just to talk about this skill a little more, stealth kills and stealth in general is extremely important in this game so the crossbow becomes very very useful and then this particular perk gives crossbows more damage which makes them even more useful now those are the skills that I think you should go with first I can't stress enough how important focus shot is it's a game changer when it comes to gunfights it takes gunfights from being a frustrating part of the game to an actually enjoyable part of the game focus shot is incredibly important to get early on now just to talk about a few other skills that I think are important for you to start working towards here in the melee tree there are several that I think you should start working towards field repairs is absolutely great because you can repair your own melee weapons with scrap and then there are several there are a couple other skills that give you extra damage to your melee weapons and those are incredibly good as well then in the survival skill tree there's one particular one that I think you should start working towards this one's pretty good but this is one of the most important ones that you can get in this skill tree it allows you to see enemies through walls so that one is is really good to start working towards as well but at the start of the game definitely my recommendation my opinion is to go into the range skill tree those are some of the per best perks by far, especially early on in the game. Get that focus shot. Now let's move on to what weapons I think you should be using early on in the game. Well, they're all on my character right now. I've been using them since pretty early on in the game, and I've continued to use them right up until now. I think they're all absolutely amazing weapons. Let's start with the crossbow. For stealth kills, this thing is absolutely amazing. You can take out a whole camp very quietly with the crossbow. It's an excellent weapon, excellent stealth weapon, and you can actually craft your own bolts for the crossbow, which comes in handy as well. Then there's the AK. The AK is an extremely good rifle. Headshots are incredibly easy to get with this weapon once you go into focus shot. Headshots are an essential part of this game as far as I'm concerned. One headshot and the enemy is dead whereas if you're going in full auto shooting at a you're gonna waste a lot of ammunition for starters and it takes much longer to take out the the enemy that you're trying to fight so if you go into focus shot one shot to the head, the enemy is down, and you can move on to the next enemy. Now let's move on to the melee weapons. The one that I've used since very early in the game is this one, the bat with the nail mod on it. You get that very early in the game, and it's extremely good at taking out enemies within three hits or so. They're taken out, and it actually doesn't take very much durability damage, which is another very good perk with this weapon. Next thing I want to talk about is camps. There are two camps that you're going to find pretty early on in the game and that's Tucker's camp and Copeland's camp. You want to focus on getting your trust up with Copeland's camp first because Copeland's camp sells bike parts whereas Tucker's camp sells weapons. Weapons you don't need to be concerned about early on in the game. You'll get all the weapons that you need out in the world itself so you don't need to focus so much on Tucker's camp. 
but Copeland's camp, like I said, turn your bounties and your food, and then any survivors that you find out in the field, I would recommend that you do all of that for Copeland's camp so that you can unlock your bike parts at your mechanic as soon as possible. Now, speaking of the mechanic in Copeland's camp, I'll just talk about the parts, the performance parts that I think you should get as soon as possible. And that would be upgrade your engine so you, your bike is going faster and has more durability. And upgrade your exhaust so that the noise is reduced for your bike so you're a little more stealthy while you're riding around on your bike. Now bike parts are an important thing for you to spend your credits on. but a couple of things that I would not recommend that you spend your credits on and that is to repair your bike because it's very easy for you to repair your bike on your own with the scrap that you pick up and refueling your bike there's gas all over the map don't bother with spending your hard-earned credits on refueling just go out find the find the fuel out in the field it's very easy to find you won't have any trouble now let's talk about the merchant for a second. Now it's not essential that you buy ammo from the merchant. You can find a lot of ammo out in the world and I'll talk about that now in a second. But if you find yourself running low on ammo, it's actually quite cheap to refill your ammo at the merchant. And silencers as well is a very good thing to buy from the merchant. Being stealthy is a very important thing in this game for sure. Now let's talk about a couple of things when you're out exploring around the world. Number one, cop cars. In every trunk of every cop car, you'll find ammo. Incredibly good place to get ammo. If you're low on ammo, look for a cop car. Medical supplies in ambulances. Find an ambulance, you'll find some medical supplies. Last thing I want to talk about is neural sites. And neural sites are very important because you can get a, either a health boost, a stamina boost, or a focus boost once you unlock the neural site and you get in. I would recommend that you go with the focus boost most of the time because, well, focus boost is incredibly important for your gunfights. The more focus you have, the better. Health is okay, stamina is okay. But I would say that the focus should be the main priority. One last thing I want to talk about with the Nero sites is once you start up the generator to get into the Nero building, the speakers that are all around the site will start playing this automated message very loudly and it will attract any zombies that are in the area. So a good tip for that is to make sure that you cut down or shoot down every speaker that's in the area. Make sure you look around thoroughly, get every speaker before you turn on the generator so you're not attracting a mob of zombies when you go into the building. One last thing, don't make too much noise. This can happen. Alright everyone, that's it for this essential tips and tricks video. I hope you found some useful information in this video. If you have, leave a like comment down in the comment section if you have any tips or tricks that you want to leave and I hope to see you in the next one thanks for watching everyone bye